Eight days after his birth, Jesus was circumcised and, according to the Jewish tradition, received his name officially. Although medically controversial today, Jesus' circumcision is very important in the history of salvation. In the ancient Jewish tradition, covenants were sealed in blood. One example is the blood that Moses sprinkled on the people when they accepted the covenant on Mount Sinai. When a blood covenant was broken, it could only be made right by the shedding of blood. Thus, this first shedding of Jesus' blood was not only his first act of obedience to the law, but was also the first step of restoring the people's relationship with God. Many Christian religions celebrate the holy name of Jesus on January 1st, eight days after the celebration of Jesus' birth on Christmas. The Catholic Church, however, dedicates January 1st to the Solemnity of Mary, recognizing her role in bringing the Savior into the world. For this reason, in the Catholic tradition, the Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus is celebrated on January 3rd. Names, of course, have individual meaning, but the term name also has special significance in the Bible. The word relates to reputation, the whole of a person's deeds, and it also serves as a description of the person's character. God has many names in the Old Testament, such as the Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Everlasting Father, Ancient of Days. The significance of name can be seen throughout the Old Testament. For example, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1 states, A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. And Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1 states, A good name is better than precious ointment. The Messiah's name was chosen by God and communicated to Mary by the angel Gabriel when he asked her, on behalf of God, to be the mother of the Messiah. Joseph separately received instruction to name the child Jesus from an unidentified angel in a dream. The name Jesus is Yehoshua in Hebrew, Yeshua in Aramaic, the language that Jesus spoke, and Joshua in English. It means Savior, Rescuer, or God Saves. While it may seem disappointing that Jesus' name was not unique, the history of the name, in fact, has important significance. Joshua, son of Nun, was Moses' disciple. He was in charge of security for the tent of meeting that the Israelites constructed at God's command while they were making their way through the desert after God freed them from slavery in Egypt. When Moses sent 12 men, one from each tribe, to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, only Joshua and Caleb brought back a favorable report. The others expressed fear and doubt that they could conquer the armies of the inhabitants and take over the land as the Lord had told them. For their loyalty, Joshua and Caleb were the only ones among the original group of Israelites who left Egypt to make it to the Promised Land. Joshua's original name was Hoshea, which means salvation. But Moses changed his name to Joshua, God saves, to show who really is in charge of salvation. When Moses died, Joshua took over leadership of the Israelites and led them into the Promised Land, where they would build a home and a kingdom. Jesus, in turn, leads his people into the eternal Promised Land of Heaven, our home, and his kingdom. So when we conclude a prayer by saying, in Jesus' name, we make our prayer not only in the earthly name of our Savior, but we also ask that it be granted by all of Jesus' wonderful deeds, including his incarnation, his life among us, the miracles he performed, his teaching, his passion, his death, his resurrection, and of course, his ascension into heaven, leading us into the promised land.